Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit that notification bell, get all the updates. Really for today's video. I really liked this beer when I had it fresh. It's Cellar Saturday, so now I'm having it not fresh. Uh, it is Bam Burr Anna. The way it's written out, I think it's supposed to be three separate words. And uh, it's from Oscar Blues and Cigar City. It's part of their Canarchy uh, Ken Laborations. It's barrel aged. It's an imperial style Asian whiskey and brandy barrels with figs, dates, and emberana wood spirals. So, if you're watching this out of order or you're not aware or whatever, currently I'm doing a theme week where every beer I'm drinking this week has at least three adjuncts in it. So this one has uh, whiskey, bar sorry, whiskey barrels specifically, brandy barrels, figs, dates, and then the uh, Amberana wood spiral. So it's five adjuncts, which five is more than three. A little math lesson for you. So this fits my theme. Uh, it's just over two years old, about two years and two months actually. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. Um, I actually randomly just bought some uh, figs and dates. So um, have eaten those recently. So I'd be curious to see if I get that in this beer or not. 12 ounce format, which I'm always a fan of, especially these bigger beers. A lot of head, oh, ABV, 12.2%. So you have bigger ABV beer, ABV beers, you know, I kind of like that smaller format. Yeah, a lot of head on that. Good finger and a half. <clears throat> Almost exactly what I would call mocha, maybe a little light mocha for the head. Pretty darn dark body or uh, you know the, the actual liquid i mean it's maybe light black to black a little bit brown mix in there but I mean, it's definitely a dark looking beer small teeny tiny bubbles in that head it, it, it definitely looks a part of a big stout let's get to the aroma so the big cinnamon for sure then there is a nice sweetness um i wouldn't say figs or dates just stout sweetness if anything a berry note some vanilla it, it's a really nice cinnamon note um which is what those spirals can kick out and yeah i mean it's held up after this this two plus years i'm, I'm pleasantly surprised little graham crackery that way because you're getting the sweet <clears throat> excuse me you're getting the sweet okay, apparently I just hit puberty you're getting the sweet the cinnamon but there is like a, a, a sweet crackery thing and yeah the, the fruit is coming across more berry like at least in the aroma Let's see about the taste cheers the beer drinks drier than the aroma leads <clears throat> leads you to believe Awesome level of chocolate is dark chocolate. The cinnamon element is nice. Uh, not, not that it's cinnamon, but it, that's what this thing makes, like what that's what it tastes like. I don't know why I'm tripping over my words so badly today. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it, it's, hey, I'm wondering, I, cause I've said this in a review before. I wonder if it was this beer or if this was one of the reviews when I did it, uh, did this beer fresh where I said this. It kind of reminds me if you use like chocolate milk to eat um, something like a cinnamon toast crunch, and then you're drinking the liquid at the end of you know you, you ate the cereal out. You got that sweetness, you got that cinnamon mixing with the chocolate. That makes this beer sound sweeter than it is. Again, it's a relatively, all things considered, it's a relatively dry beer, uh, but that's kind of like the flavor profile in terms of figs and dates specifically. It's not screaming that to me. It might be adding some of that sweetness that is there. Yeah, if you think of like a really dry stout, and then you think of some sort of pastry stout, go to the middle of those, those two things, and then go a little closer to the dry stout, and that's where this lands for me uh, in terms of that aspect. You know, yeah, I'm mostly getting one adjunct of the five. You know, in terms of the barrel aging, soft oak, soft vanilla, like the aroma. 
But yeah, I, I wouldn't be like, oh, this obviously is is barrel aged, and then say a specific barrel because it's not screaming whiskey or, or, or brandy at me. Interestingly, and now I've had some, and this has maybe opened up, I do smell. It still smells like a stout, and it's not full-on Belgian stout smell, but there is some of that date figginess you can get in a quad. Um, so without smelling Belgian-y, it does have some of that. Okay, so, but I'm still not getting the taste. Some of that, hmm, maybe some of that berry fruitiness is the brandy and it's actually grape, grapiness. Hmm. I don't know if I've said this yet. This is actually really good. I, I, I forget if I even said if I enjoy this or not. I know that's like a thing some of us guys who are doing beer reviews, uh, sometimes we forget to say we like a beer now. We're like so focused on uh, what we taste and where does it, you know, where does that hold up in terms of like the style or whatever. And then sometimes it's like, wait, time out. Like, do I like this beer or not? I do like this beer. Um, and I'm, like I said, I liked it fresh as well. But I think two years on this, if anything, it's it's the same in terms of my enjoyment of it. I don't think it's gone up or down, at least enough to like care. You know, it's not like this beer's out of this world now and it used to be just all right. And it's not like this beer is garbage now. You know, it's it's got to be about the same level of enjoyment as the experience goes. I'm getting more and more of the sweet oak, and it's 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 sweet oak. It's not, yeah, I'm still not getting a lot of barrel specific, but that oak is unmistakable. Yeah, I, I'm really liking it. I think it's obvious because I explicitly stated that. But uh, yeah, this was good, and I'm glad I, I aged one, and uh, it did not disappoint. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Check me on Instagram and Untapped. There's no hype beer reviews in both of those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, Imbibe. Cheers, everyone.